but if my suffering will keep Ivelisse in peace, then I thought I could endure it. What was all the grief and isolation I suffered for? What was it all for? Ah! No, this isn't happening. There's no reason for me to go on. What? What am I fighting for? to go where? Well, let's play Final Fantasy Tactics! Well, uh, a lot of shit hit the fan last time. Elma got kidnapped by this guy named Eslude. Um, Wegroff returns. He's now a Lukavi demon. Um, oof. And Simon the Priest passed away. But, he did give us a, um, a going away gift. The Gore Monk Scriptures. If you go to Brave Story and select Treasure, you can find it here in the menu. It is a long read, and I read it off screen, fast forwarding through specific parts. Let's just say Saint Ajora is not what you would think a saint actually is. I'm not going into further detail, but you'll find out as the story progresses anyway. That being said, though, got a little cutscene back here in Daughter. What's going on here? Hmm. It's not, it's unlike that we get to see the towns and stuff like that. The people actually walking around and no battles going up. Oh, on. Heretic Mike? Who the fuck are you? Where is Alma? If you want her back, come to Rio Vane's castle. But you must bring the Gormuk scriptures given to you at the monastery. Huh? What, what does it mean to you? Who the fuck are you? Haven't you read it? Yeah, I did read it. Return Alma if you don't want the church's lies exposed. You're in no position to demand. You have no choice. Your fate is sealed. You have no choice. Pretty much. You've been warned. Out of here. Who the fuck was that guy? Random as fuck. But in any case, we got a new destination in mind now. Rio Vane's castle. And of course, if we have like three destinations prior to that, you know we're pretty much getting close to the end of the chapter. We just started the chapter like a few episodes ago. But no, no, no. Yeah, Real Vane's Castle is where Chapter 3 will, will, will finish up. Like, uh, I think I mentioned this before, but Chapter 3 is the shortest chapter of the game. That being said, though, since we completed that battle at Orban, um, we got some new stuff to purchase from the shops now. So, yes. Oh, yeah, they sell the Marasame, um at the shops. You get that before you get to... um. Orban. They sell the wizard rod as well. Magic plus two. Super sexy. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the short edge for ninjas. Of course, if you're using a double-fisted um ninja monk hybrid like I am, you won't really need those knives. Wink wink. So you know, just saying. Some gold staffs. Um, they sell all kinds of other shit, but really not all of them are that great. Though the black hood is actually pretty good. Although, the Holy Mitter is still good for your manges, so I don't recommend getting anything until you get something that's better than the Holy Mitter for your manges. They sell the Power Sleeves now. The Power Sleeve is one of the best light pieces of equipment between chapters 2 and 3. So, if you got the money, stock up on those. They sell the Grimenis Boots here as well, and they sell, um, 108 gems. Hmm. Let's see, it cancels Undead, aka Zombie, Bloodsuck, Frog, and Poison status. Wait, 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 I missed that. It strengthens Fire, Lightning, Ice, Wind, Earth, Water, Holy, and Dark Elementals? Wow! Sexy for mages! Yes, get those, get those. We get the Magic Ring as well. 
which cancels Silence and Berserk, another sexy accessory for your mages. So, there you go. I'll get the rest of this shit off screen, but yeah, you might want to stock up before we continue onwards. Be right back. Alright, viewers of Mac, I was about to go to Golden Cold City to continue shopping, but apparently there's another cutscene. Hmm, what's going on here? Ruins of Satania Castle's Church. Ah, Delita! And Ovalia! So here you are. Everyone was looking for you. What is she doing here by herself? Something wrong? Oh, I shouldn't talk to a princess in such a matter. Excuse me. Stop it! Uh, by your leave, your most gracious majesty. Delita's such a smart ass. Please stop. Sorry. I apologize. Yeah, that was kind of childish. What are you going to do with me? I'm not Ovalia, you know. I'm not worth I'm, I'm worth nothing to you. I'm not even worth leaving alive. This poor girl, man. She's been through a lot of shit. Yes, you're not Ovalia. We don't know your real name, or even if you are noble or a commoner. You're pretty much an anomaly. What did my life mean all these years? Raised as a substitute? <laughs> Amusing, isn't it? A princess must live her life quietly in a monastery, away from the capital. I'd often wonder why only I had to live like that. But if my suffering would keep Ivalice in peace, then I thought I could endure it. What was all the grief and isolation I suffered for? What was it all for? Ah! No, this isn't happening. There's no reason for me to go on. What? What am I fighting for? Damn. Emotional, damn it. Poor, poor Ovalia, she's down bad. You and I are the same. Miserable people forced to live false lives, always being used by somebody. Try hard and you'll be rewarded, they say. Fuck them. Nothing but lies. Only those close to the top are rewarded without trying. It's the way of this world. Most people have to act the roles given to them. Then again, most of them haven't even noticed or even act. No way I'd do that. I won't be used. I'll be the one using. Those who use me must pay for what they've done. Damn. What will you do? Trust me, Ovalia. I'll make a country worthy of you. I'll make your life shine. Let me guide you. Don't cry like that. Should I trust you? Trust your feelings. You know it to be true. I won't betray you. I swear by my dead sister, Tata. So that that's a I, I can see now. That's another reason why Delita is so close to her, because in a way, she she reminds him of his sister. And knowing what Avalia is going through, Delita just can't leave her alone like that, you know. So I, I I get it. So please don't cry. She's never had anyone there that really cared for her. Everyone was just using her. Delita might be the only person that she's really been able to really open up to like that. That's saying something. In any case, they sell some um, some new mage equipment at Daughter too. The white robe, the chameleon robe. So yeah, be sure to get those. Going to continue my shopping, then we'll continue. Be right back. All right, viewers of Mac, all set to go. S stocked up on the rest of my equipment at Golan and Lasalia. So now let's head on to our next destination before we get to Rio Veins, Gronk Hill. Looks like it might be just another random location. Hmm. I wonder what we're going to find here. Of all of all places. Hmm. 
guess we'll find out. In any case, set up my team. I got Agaris decked out on all diamond equipment now. She is like stacked. Look at that. <laughs> all that diamond shit, man. Remember, viewers, diamonds are forever. Well, at least at least not in video games, because there's always something better to replace it. So there you go. Yeah, let's drink some grog, viewers. On the hit now. That was fail. I'm sorry. Okay. What the fuck is going on here? Looks like a bunch of randos. Damn, what rotten luck. A pursuit unit. A Nathan deserter? Are you a Nathan patrol? We're tired of fighting. We want to go home. We want to go home. We'd rather be poor and covered with mud than this. We're sick of killing. We want to return to our families. Then do it. We're not after you, though. We don't desire to fight. Don't misunderstand. Don't lie. You expect us to believe you? Try to get us off, get us off guard and kill us. Well, none of your tricks will work. <laughs> Silly deserter. Tricks are for fools. Hey! That dude with the blonde hair. He was on the wanted list. Are you serious? So what? Bruh. It's him. The heretic. You know the heretic. If we bring him to if we bring him in, they might let us off. Or get us off. You mean going back to the knights? Getting a heretic's big, like getting enemy brass, or ass. If we get them, they might give us a discharge too. Wow, fuck me in the ass. All right, I know a guy discharged in exchange. We can go home big, dude. Otherwise, we'll live our lives in, hi in hiding as deserters. Right, let's catch him. We'll even kill him. He's a heretic, they'll execute him sooner or later. You ain't tough, ho. But don't they need me alive? You can't really get your reward if you kill me off. We can go home by killing them. This is our last battle. <laughs> You're right. This will be your last battle. <laughs> In any case, these guys are such trash. Look at them. We got two squires, a thief, who, um, be careful because she has steel heart, um, a, two chemists and an archer. This is like a fucking chapter one party. Like, bruh, come on. Do you honestly think you are even capable of even killing me at these levels that I'm at compared to what you're at? Bitch, please. But then again, this is what you get for being deserters. You don't stay to get the experience. And that is why you will die. You'll, well, you'll fail, and then you'll die. Ugh. <laughs> you fools are way out of your fucking league, man. Way out of your fucking league. But come on, hurry it up. Ah, bitch! Damn! Damn! <laughs> bitch, this goes right up and... Uh-uh! Hamendo! Damn! Ramson. 
If you can get the female thief out the way, that'd be great. Because, like I said, she has the steel heart ability. So, you remember what that does, right? Yeah, it's basically a trap. You don't want that shit. And in fact, Daisy can pretty much take them all out herself. But, I still need to be careful. That, um, those chemists need to die too. But this bitch needs to go down first. You should, you should've just stayed dead. Boom! Cause now you just experienced more pain! When you were better off just staying on the ground. But then again, you got this guy to blame for all that pain. Fuck off! Yeah, try healing that bitch! Ooh, too late! Now! Anyone thirsty? Damn! <laughs> you survived! I'm shocked at that! I'm surprised! I'm surprised and impressed! Not that it matters! <laughs> Damn! That's a shame! Really? That's all you can do? That's all you can do, dude? Throw stones at me? You can't do anything else? So this is how you guys are gonna die? Just throwing shit at me? And you're gonna use an arrow attack on, a, on someone that has auto potion who can just heal it right away. Are you serious, bruh? Huh. Well, uh, that's fine by me. Hope you like getting fisted to death. <laughs> Bye! Packing order, bitch! <laughs> uh, I'm having way too much fun with this fight. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's see, can I hit that guy? No, I cannot. Oh well. <sighs> Get some more cheer up, then. Cheer up, Dorma! There you go. Now then. Alright, let's get this other um, fool out of here. So, dude, any last words before you, you know, bite the diamond dust? No? Alright. Shiva! Get your ass out here, girl! Ew! Fuck off. Damn! And boom goes the dynamite. I understand your lives are important, but is that it? <laughs> is that it? Wow. I guess that was it, cause they really didn't. They really didn't do much of anything. They should have just walked the fuck away. They should just walk the fuck away. Walk away. I wonder what father would have done. Who knows? I mean, if they're after your lives, I would I would kill them too if they're trying to kill me. Uh, uh, your? Oh, what's Olan? We meet again. How's it going, Astro Man? Uh, a black lion's crest. You're Nathan? So, you killed the deserters for us. I never thought a bee of all would help us. Oh, so they were after them? Well, it's not because I wanted to. They were in our way and they wouldn't let us leave. I know. You don't want to fight, right? Same here. I don't go after deserters because I want to, you know? You know what I mean. So you knew me. Yeah, I saw your name and face on the wanted list. As a dangerous heretic. What did you do? Um, nothing special. I just killed a cardinal that turned into a demon. But, you know, you know, it's, it's just a typical day in Ivalice. Are you going to try and capture me? Why would I do that? Our job is to catch deserters. No need for us to be involved. <laughs> yeah, it's really none of our business. <laughs> I mean, after all, you, you just did us a great service by actually doing the fighting for us before we got here, so, you know, it, it, it's 
It's all good, bro. Besides, you saved my life earlier, so I owe you one. But your brothers are after you. Run before they get you. Damn. It's hard to believe Ramses' own brothers are, are just going to be his enemies now. All of a sudden like that. Why do you continue to fight? As long as your brothers point swords at us, it'll continue. So if Laura quits, Gotana would too? But that won't ever happen. If you see Orlando of Nathan, let me know. Some are urging Larg and Gotana for gain. We're in the palm of their hands. They're the real ones to beat. Why Orlando? I... My father used to say he was his only friend. Orlando's my father-in-law. I'll tell him that. Your father-in-law? Well, damn. Well, well, there you go. <laughs> Do you believe me? I don't know why they're trying to collect holy stones. It, if it's for the people, I won't interrupt. Because it's really none of my business. But if it's for self-gain, Orlando won't allow it. He'll promise to kill in the name of Tichi Sid. What does Tichi mean? Guess we'll find out later. Do you know about the High Priest plot? Yes, but there is no proof. We're investigating it, but you may know better. If we prove it, would you stop fighting? Do you have proof? Here's the gore mo uh, uh, no, nothing. No one knows whether the war will end or not. But I'm sure Orlando would quit. O Olan, shall we go? Oh shit, I almost forgot. <laughs> yeah, I I'm coming. I must go, Mike. Take care of yourself, you hear? Thanks, Olan. Mike, you're not alone. You have friends, allies who risk their lives. I'm one of them. Olan. Thanks, dude. Thank you, Olan. Wow. We got it. We got us a really good ally in Olan. It's such it's such a shame he won't be a like a party member. Damn, it's such a damn shame. Because Gravity Stop is such an amazing fucking ability. Like, seriously, you saw how it was in that Golden Cold City battle? Fuck me. But in any case, um, Agra should... Yes, perfect. Mind break it! And with that, Agra has mastered Knight. With that, Agra is done for the rest of the game. Pretty much. I don't really need anything else from her because, like I said, we'll be getting her better. A.K.A. replacement in Chapter 4. So, needless to say, um, Agaris is pretty temporary now. But now, now that she has everything that I wanted her to get. So, you know, there you go. She's done. That being said, though, I still have to work on getting the rest of Daisy's summons. And Mistadio still has some more chemist abilities to learn. Want him to get all of these sexy trinkets. So, there you go. Yes. And oh yeah, they sell high ethers now at the shops, so be sure to stock up on those, especially for your manges. Wink, wink. That being said, though, viewers, <sighs> had a nice little run-in with Olan and stuff like that, and we slaughtered some deserters. So, good times. Good times. However, <clears throat> we're still far from Real Vane's castle. What a wait us at Yordell Fort City. Find out next time. You guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming bits for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell, <laughs> hit the bell to stay notified of my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. So next time, dudes and dudettes, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smile you later.